And to join us uh, to discuss that matter, we've got Alex Enyeho, who is the Director of Media and Publicity for Gorodo Management Committee. And uh, we also have Jolomi Meshan, who is the Chairman of Gorodo Community Management Committee. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let, let me start uh, on my immediate right. This is not the first time we're seeing some sort of crisis in the Gorodo community. Uh, about that recent development, what would you say is the cost? Okay, uh, the cost of uh, the world of crisis is leadership. Certain uh, persons or group for the past 30 years has been in the helm of the affairs of the world of the community. And the people... 30 years, you Yes, say? for 30 years now. 30 years. And uh, they, for these 30 years, there's nothing to show. There's no development, nothing, no drinking water. So the people are fed up with this set of people and decided to put them away and they refuse. That has been the problem. So the problem is still with the same group of people or group of persons. So who are these group of persons that want to put them away? Uh, the community itself. The community? Yes, the community itself. The Mr. Nyeho. Is thank, that correct? Well, <laughs> thank you very much. First, let me just uh, quickly make a correction. Uh, the chairman of Uburudu Community Management Committee is Austin Oborogbe Esquire. So, and not Jolomi. Is, is that the case? Wrong. Uburudu Community Management Committee, the chairman who just addressed the press conference, the clip you just showed us, Barrister Austin Oborogbe. So why do the you chairman. call yourself the chairman? Very good. This is, this is the problem now. There was an election, and I won. I won the election, and um, I was inaugurated at Ikberi Hall on the 13th day of May 2017, only for Austin and his group, go back to worry, and inaugurated themselves. Who inaugurated you? The community itself. In Ikberi Hall, which happens to be our own Eagle Square, where all previous chairmen have been inaugurated, now, Austin is a member of the Administrative Committee. I also am a member of his own committee. Same members, but just different executive. That is the problem we are having. So at the moment, the leadership of the management committee is yes. in contention, or yes. is factionalized. It's just the chairman. Oh, just the chairman's just the chairman. position. Yeah, that is the what problem. What about the other executive members? Who do they... No, that uh, is not a problem. It's just the chairman. Who is the chairman? That is just the trouble. So is it only the chairman that runs the affairs of the management committee? Not at all, but the chairman seems to be the, what, is, what, is, what, is, what is the problem now, and I don't see how that should be a problem. It's just the same group of persons. So, Austin so the, has been... the position of the chairman of the Bordeaux Management Committee is what's affecting, the, what's causing the situation in the Bordeaux community as a whole? That's it. That is just it. Why is that so? Well, well you see, it's very good so that uh, there will be no confusion. He calls himself chairman of Uborodo Administrative Committee. That's, that's, that's what he calls. That's what he calls. So Mr. I don't know why he cannot he own up. So why do you change it to uh, Uborodo? I am talking Manage about Uborodo Community Management Committee. He has all. I mean, it's there. The records are there. He says he is the chairman of a certain so, Uborodo Administrative Committee. Know, I asked that question. A non-existent body. I asked that question because. From the report, our uh, uh, correspondent brought in, you're having issues with being a part of the Warri Kingdom or not being a part of the Warri Kingdom. Is that also part of this? No, no? That, that, that's absolutely. Uh, that's a different no, matter. No, that's a different matter. And that, that, is, that, is, that is dead on arrival. It is, is, it, is, it is, excuse me, it is the same people with this Jolomi Meshaaru, one Benson Dubé or Madeli, who is a Juju priest. Well, in I think we should uh, stay clear of uh, labeling people. No, 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 that's we what he is. He's, he's, a, he's a priest. He's well, a priest. That's what he is. Well, he is we? a priest of his own family, the Oruri family. You understand? Who he's with Jolomi Mesharu. They are the set of persons that went to the media in conjunction, in conjunction with certain external forces to dis disown Warri Kingdom. What external forces? External forces. 
I, and I must be very clear here, you, you know, and these are uh, verifiable, and you can, you can make call, call. The deputy governor of Delta State, Mr. Kingsley Otwaru, uh, is behind this whole thing. Yeah, well, Do you I agree with that? Is he behind this? I am totally surprised. I hope I am Please know that these are your comments. These are not It's not a challenge comment. Yeah, even comment. if they are your yeah, comments, you yeah. cannot accuse people who that's, we that, cannot that, verify. That's why yeah. I say it's, it's, it's a sitting uh, deputy governor. Now, you can reach out what, to what him. What efforts have yeah. both of you or your two groups made yeah. to try to see that this issue is resolved amicably just so that you don't have people uh, having these kind of grievances and it degenerates to crisis. See, again, so that we don't confuse the audience out there, uh, we don't have two groups in Borodo. We have a dissident group, you know, who are rebels, trying to rebel against what the entire Borodo community did in Odo Borodo, in Ikwere Town Hall. Are you referring to yes, the group? Yes, which he is a part of. Just as he's, he confirmed it just now. That, that is a part of a rebel a, group? No, that he is a member of that committee. About a uh, 48-man committee. He also said that the person no, you no, say wait, is the chairman no. is also part of that committee. Wait, wait let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me break it down for you. There were problems, you know, and they, some of them, you know, went to Governor Ifan Okoa to intervene in the matter. Governor Okoa intervened by relating with the people. Uh, he, 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 he commissioned Pa J O S Ayomike of blessed memory, a leader in the community, that he should intervene in this matter. To cut a long story short, the world of people now met, and it was agreed that each community, five communities, make up Uburodo, mind you. Uburodo is just the umbrella name. We have five communities, Ijala, Madao, Ogidibe, Ajudaibo, and Odiuburudu. Then it was agreed that each of the communities should bring nominees, while uh, a certain uh, uh, group, the governor considered that that group, because you know they're agitating, okay, you bring 10 of your members. Is that part of the dissident group? No, no, no. There, there is a group which is a part of. It's a part of that group. They gave them 10 slots. That was where his name emerged. I emerged from my community. Others emerged. At the end of the day, we had about 48 names appointed by the various communities themselves and the group I talked about, where he emerged from. They gave them 10 slots. So after everything, everybody, all the nominees went back to Odiuborodo. So it's a legal group. It's a legal group. No, 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 no. The, the other one was just a group, a dissident group. Right. Then we went back to Oduborodu, and the committee, everybody, the names were read out, and everybody was satisfied. We went back only for him, and the same elements now went back and said, oh, they are not satisfied with the chairman. Something that has been, because the chairmanship issue is a done deal because it is the EPZ committee. EP, there was an EPZ committee that was expanded. Okay. We'll come to that. That was expanded. Let, let so, Jolomi respond to some of the several, I mean, the several allegations yeah. he's made against you, a dissident group, you're causing trouble. Are you responsible for the crisis? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I am very surprised because uh, we heard here that on channels here some time ago that the people of Uburu are dissident, just the word you use now, and the people that are miscrowned and they're doing oil bone cream, whatever, painting them bad, and that's why the military went there to chase them out. That is not correct. This is some. Yes, it's not correct. Now, the uh, national youth chairman was appointed, just an election, just what, is, just what Alex explained, there was an election that brought in me and Alex, my group or his group. And this youth, they've been in place. Now, the youth is not in support of Austin's government or Austin's committee. Because Austin's committee is referred to worry committee. They don't live in the community. They live outside the community. In order for them to have their way, they decided to flush out the youth, entire youth body. Those are the people he's referring to as dissident, the people he's referring to as miscrant. Who flush them out? 
the military with the with, with the with the wrong information from uh, uh, Austin and possible uh, David Tonway. So the state government in any way did not go there to restore peace and order? There was peace in the borough though. What I'm saying, those people is referring to as bunkers or militants or whatever, or whatever name is calling them. Those people are peace loving people. That is the youth of Borodo, the chairman of the youth. The entire youth executive. Those are the people he's referring to as whatever okay. is, whatever name. How did your name emerge? Is it true what he said? That that's I how just, your name emerged? I as... just explained to you that there was an election and I won the election. There was an election, just what he explained no to you. No names that. were submitted? Then? Names were submitted. My name was submitted. His name was submitted. Austin's name was submitted. But the only problem now was who is going to be the chairman? The community picked me and Austin picked himself. Wait, wait, wait. That is just wait, what happened. You said there was an election. Now yes. you say they were picked. What, what exactly? The election is, is a process of where you pick, where they pick you from, either from your, 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 your quarter from your community, or you're picked from your group. So just you were like, picked from your community? Yes, from, my group, he was from my group. group. Not from your community? I was picked from... This oh, is what no, happened. No, I just want to get this yes. clear. Because he says there are five communities that make yeah. up Oboruto. Uh -huh. Good. And he was gotten... He was he emerged yes. from his own community. Yes. You have a community there too. Yes. Did you emerge from your community? Of course. Let Absolutely me explain. Absolutely no. Let me explain. Alex's name came up from EPZ. No. EPZ was 21. No. And my name came out from the former management committee where I was an auditor. Then the other names, 15 names, were now from other, uh, the five communities, three, three each. That's how we got 45 names. Now, after getting the 45 names, who is going to be the chairman? I was inaugurated at Ikberi Hall, Odeboldo, while Austin inaugurated himself somewhere in Wari, two weeks after. That is the problem. The same group of names, the same person. Have you been living purpose. in the community? Of course, that's where I live. Is and it, that is why the was, office... Was there a time you were declared wanted? Not at all. All right, we'll find out when we return from this break, if there can ever be a solution to this crisis. And what will that be? Join us again.